Welcome to Rio de Janeiro, the marvelous city, with its infectious energy, warm people, and stunning landscapes. It's home to Christ the Redeemer, Sugarloaf Mountain, Copacabana Beach, the Lapa Arches, and of course, renowned celebrations like Carnival and New Year's, as well as its favelas, an important but much less celebrated part of Rio de Janeiro. So how do we define favelas? How did they originate? Between 1532 and 1888, Brazil imported 5 million enslaved Africans, more than any country in world history. Rio de Janeiro received close to 2 million slaves. Brazil became the last country in the Americas to abolish slavery in 1888. The government, whose representatives made their riches off slavery, wasn't concerned with supporting former slaves. Afro-Brazilians were left to fend for themselves, searching for work and living in informal settlements. The first informal settlement, to be called favela, was formed when soldiers who had served in the Bloody Canudos War in Brazil's northeast traveled to Rio de Janeiro, where they were promised land as payment for serving in battle. When they discovered no such land upon arrival, they staged protests and squatted in front of the Ministry of War. They were subsequently relegated to a nearby hillside, which they named Morro da Favela, or Favela Hill, after a robust, resilient and spiny bush native to the Canudos landscape. Afro-Brazilians and the rural poor were locked out of the nation's extremely unequal land system and many migrated to cities in search of a better life. They joined the residents on Favela Hill and also settled elsewhere, forming new favelas. Favela Hill, which later became known as Providencia, still exists today, overlooking the very port where many residents' ancestors arrived as enslaved African laborers. What started as squatting on one hillside quickly spread across the city. Vacant land was seen as potential territory for homeless families. Today, favelas are home to 23% of Rio's population, about 1.4 million people. If you were to add up the number of people living in favelas across Brazil, it would be the fifth most populous state and would generate the GDP of Bolivia. 65% of residents are middle class. The word favela does not have a direct translation into English and is often mistakenly replaced with the word slum, which makes it easy to associate favelas only with stigmatizing stereotypes of poverty, squalor, drugs, and violence. Rather, the only thing every favela has in common is that they are not subjected to central regulation or oversight due to a century of government neglect. This means every favela is unique. So let's dig deeper and take a look at the four elements that actually typify all favelas. Number one, favelas were formed because it was simply no place for migrants and descendants of enslaved Africans to live. Without access to the formal housing market, their only option was to build their homes on vacant land. 127 years after abolition, favelas remain the primary affordable housing option. Number two, favelas have been historically unregulated by the government. Rio's favelas have been developed by residents for over a century because neglect has remained constant, perpetuating issues with sanitation, safety, and inadequate access to the city's resources. Number three, Favelas are built by their residents, brick by brick. Most favelas have housed families for generations, producing a rich history in each home. Residents invest heavily in their homes, using the same building materials as the more conventional apartment blocks below. Number four. Rio's favelas possess urbanistic qualities that are often ignored by both the media and the city itself such as low-cost, centrally located housing, pedestrian-oriented street life, tight-knit communities, and unrestrained entrepreneurial and cultural activity. We 
We also asked favela residents to describe their communities in a few words. Here's what they had to say. Significa minha casa. Bom. Cultura. Lazer. Morro. Pago funk. Escola. Abandono. Amor. Carismo. Educação. Barraco. Liberdade. Esquecimento. Tiro. Talentos. É união. Resistência. Jogo de poderes. Solidariedade. Arte. Família. 